Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about the solution of week one assignment one of database management system. For the first question, the correct statement are option A and B. For the second question, we have been given an instance and we have to find the correct representation. So the accuracy cannot be a primary key because it contains a null value. So option C and D are eliminated and for option B data set and training data as the primary key it cannot be the primary key as for the data set DA and the training data 11,280 it has different values of model and accuracy so for this answer is option A in which the primary key is model and data set for the next question the incorrect statement is option b for the first question we have to find the foreign key and between the two relation employee and project so it will be employee id as it is common between the two relation which is option b for the fifth question we have been given an instance and we have to find the secondary key so in the given instance s1 is the primary key so a secondary key is a key which is apart from a primary key and it is capable of identifying unique records so option a is eliminated as it is containing s1 which is already a primary key so it cannot be the second part of the secondary key and for option b the coordinate 1 and coordinate 2 value for the value 6 6 it is giving different value of s1 and depth image so it cannot be the secondary key as it is not able to identify the unique records and option d coordinate 1 and depth image for the value when the value of coordinate 1 is 1 and depth image is 256 it is giving different values of s1 and coordinate 2 which is for the first case it is 1 1 and for the second it is 2 2 so the right answer is option c which is coordinate 2 and depth image is the secondary key for the sixth question we have to find the number of tuple which will be selected by the given command which is select player and where the player and the gamer is equal in the Cartesian product of game 1 and game 2 so the Cartesian product of game 1 and game 2 is as follows and the condition in which it is satisfied I have highlighted it by the blue color in which the player and the gamer are same so there are total of 4 rows where the player and the gamer are same so for this answer is option B for the next question we have to identify the correct statement so where the Cartesian product is possible but the natural join between the student table and the teacher table is not possible because natural join is occurs only when there is a common attribute between the two tables and the Cartesian product of the student and the teacher it has the following tuples and there are total of nine tuples so statement uh, a is incorrect b is also incorrect because the Cartesian product is possible the correct answer for this is option d because natural join is not possible for this for the next question we have been given a table and the output of the relation so we have to identify the correct operation which will result in the following output so projection operation will not be performed as we have to use the condition so a and b is eliminated and among c and d d cannot be the answer because when in, in D it is or condition that is either the branch or address could be same or 
the salary could be greater than 10,000. So if the branch and entrances are same, then there will be total three tuples which will result, which is Kolkata, Mumbai and Hyderabad. But in our uh, result, only two tuple is returned in which the branch and entrances are Hyderabad and Mumbai. So for this answer is option C where the branch and address will be same and the salary will be greater than 10,000 which is true only in two cases. First is for the employee name room key with the branch and address is Hyderabad and salary is 20,000 and the second one is for Sandeep where the branch is Mumbai, address is Mumbai and the salary is 15,000. So for this answer is option C. For the ninth question, we have been given the following table R1 and R2 and we have to identify the correct operation which will produce the following output from the above two relations. So for this R1 union R2 will result in the following table and R1 intersection R2 will result in the following table r1 intersection r1 union r2 will combine both the table and result in the following output and r1 intersection r2 will only select those rows which are common in both the table and finally r1 union r2 intersection r1 intersection r2 will give the desired result which is option C. For the 10th question, which of the following can be the candidate key for the following instance? So the candidate key will be employee name and branch which can uniquely identify the other attributes. So for this answer is option D. If you have got any different answer, do let me know in the comment section. And before the final submission of the assignment, do check the comment section. If there is any change in the answers, I will pin it in the comment section. So, thank you for watching the video.